Hello current and prospective investors, welcome to Solomon Stock Brokers Limited. Today we'll be taking a look into debt instruments, particularly bonds. So, what are debt instruments? In simple terms, these are negotiable or tradable loans. Normal loans between friends and banks to clients are not easily bought by a third party. But debt instruments are designed in such a way that they can easily be transferred to any individual who wishes to take a position. These instruments involve lending money to corporate or institutions and the government. When the lending is between the public and corporate or institution, then it's commonly known as corporate bonds. NMB retail bond, exim retail bond, TMRC bond are a few examples of, of corporate bonds listed and trading at the Islam Stock Exchange. Taking an example of an NMB retail bond, it was issued in year 2016 at par, meaning that if the investor, if the investor invested 10 million, he will receive 10 million in year 2019. And an ambiguity bond is, is maturing in year 2019, so it's a three years bond and it pays a coupon of 13%, meaning 6.5% after every six months. So if the investor invested 10 million, he'll receive 650,000 after six months, then another 650,000 after six months. Government securities. These are securities issued by Central Bank, in our case the Bank of Tanzania, to different stakeholders including individuals, institutions and companies. When these securities mature when these securities mature within one year, then they are known as treasury bills. So any obligation issued by the central bank that has a time frame as a year time frame is termed as a treasury bill. Treasury bills are auctioned at regular intervals of two weeks. We have a thirty days Treasury bill, 91 days treasury bill, 182 days treasury bill, 364 days treasury bill. According to the last auction, these were the returns of these treasury bills. Now, here we have a simple illustration of what an investor might get if he invests in these treasury bills. Let's take a look. If an investor invested in a th 3 million Tanzanian shilling in a 35 days treasury bill, that treasury bill will have a face value of, of three million. So this investor will almost get nothing for that particular time. But an investor who invested five million in a 35 days treasury bill, then that treasury bill will have a face value of five million and ten thousand, meaning that that investor will get a capital gain of nine thousand after deduction of tax. So the total gain will be only nine thousand from the particular treasury bill. Well. This return may not look very attractive. You can also try to look at if the investor invests the same amount for a longer tenure. Let's uh, take an example, maybe a year, 364 days. If the investor invests the same 5 million for a year, then the treasury bill will have a face value of 5,440,000, meaning that that particular investor will gain 396,000 after tax. So at the maturity, the investor will, will get 5,296,000. Now let's take a look into treasury bonds. In contrast, in contrast to treasury bills, treasury bonds mature in more than one year. As mentioned earlier, these have longer tenure of 2 to 20 years. Treasury bonds have also, also have a regular interval of two weeks. So in simple terms, if this week, is treasury, if this week the Bank of Tanzania is issuing treasury bill, then the next week it will be issuing treasury bond, and the cycle goes as such. Now, these are the interest rates for the treasury bonds in different tenure. And right here, we have a simple illustration of return that can be obtained by an investor. So let's, if he invests 3 million, 5 million, and 10 million in treasury bonds. For example, an investor who has invested 3 million in a two years bond, the bond will have a face value of 3 million and 200,000. So this particular investor will be, will be getting 125,120 shillings after every six months. So for the, for the whole year, this investor would have gained 250,240 shillings. Total interest over the two years will be 500,480, and including the capital gain of 200, this investor would have gained a total of 700,480 700, shillings as capital gain, as total gain in the period of two years. Now we can look at a longer tenure 
whereby if the investor maybe take example investor decides to invest 10 million for 20 years then this particular investor will have a bond of, with a face value of 11 million 100 and 100,000 so after every six months this investor will be getting 859,695 shillings so for the whole year this investor will gain a total of 1 million 719,390 shillings total interest over the 20 years is 34 million 387,800 shillings and you can just try to observe that this is more than three times of the amount that this investor in invested initially so the total gain on this bond taking uh, taking into consideration this accrued interest and the capital gain received at the time of first value this investor will obtain a total of 35 million 487,800 shillings apart from the 10 million he, he invested after looking at on the fundamentals of government bond let's look at the advantage first they are relatively risk-free because they are issued by government it is believed that the government cannot default its obligation because in case it doesn't have funds to settle this obligation it can always issue new bonds print new money or ask financial assistance from its partner countries they are also transferable and negotiable most of investors are afraid to invest in long-term bonds because they believe that if they purchase a 20 years bond they will have to hold the bond to maturity but this is not usually the case government bonds are tradable in the secondary market and the investor may decide to sell part or whole of the bond if he wishes to. They can also be pledged as collateral. Banks and other financial institutions accept government bonds as collateral and this may help an investor if he or she needs funds through a loan. Then the rate of return is also competitive. Based on the illustration shown previously, the returns from government securities outperform most of the products available in the financial market like fixed deposit and the like. So how do you participate if you want to if you want to buy these government bonds? The main way of participating to or getting a debt instrument is through a licensed member of the Islam Stock Exchange. For example, we Solomon Stock Brokers are also licensed member of the Islam Stock Exchange and we act as intermediaries between the Bank of Tanzania and investors and we also offer advice, guidance and assistance required. What you need, we just need your identity card, either it's a voter card, voters card passport your passport or national ID or driving license then we are going to give you a, full, a form to fill so that we could know you as our client and also you have to fill whether, whether you're buying then you have to fill a purchase order form or if you're selling then you'll be sell, we'll be giving you a sell order form but an investor will also have to, is also required to have a tax identification number TIN number and it's not you can have a team number which is business or non-business depending on whether you're investing in the bond for a business or you as an individual. Settlement for bond is T plus one meaning that if we go to the auction today then you'll be entitled the bond will be in your name on the next business day. And all this trade is is done through prefunding, meaning that you have first to deposit the money in our account, then we go to the auction. Thank you very much. For more clarification and questions, you can contact us to amongst the brokers. Here are our address. You can find us at PPF House Ground Floor, or you can also write, an us, write us a letter through PO Box 77049 Dar Islam. And you can also follow our Twitter account, Instagram account, or try to text us through WhatsApp. And that's the numbers. Welcome all.